friends, it's Kathy. Welcome to Kathy Over 50. And today I'm doing my final beauty empties for 2021. I have a lot of makeup and skincare empties. And I'm going to give you some mini reviews and let you know if I would recommend the product or not. If you're visiting me for the first time, welcome. I do easy everyday makeup, skincare, and fashion videos for the woman over 50. And I would love it if you subscribed. Okay, so I'm going to dive into my empties in no particular order. And I have two hydrating toners from PCA Skincare. I love this toner. I have oily skin and a toner to me is my favorite step in all of my skincare routine. And because I have two empties, you can be sure that I love this toner. One of these lasts me about two and a half to three months. I use it morning and night, and it is the first toner that I have ever used where I can actually feel the moisture being drawn into my skin. It is so hydrating. It's perfect for oily skin, which I have, and it would also be great for dry skin. Seriously, I've tried a lot of toners over the years, and I've never felt this way about a toner immediately the first time that I tried it. My skin instantly felt hydrated. It's really lovely. Another skincare product that I actually just began at the end of 2020 last year, and I've been using it all throughout 2021. It's another product by PCA Skin, and it is their Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Serum. I have to tell you, since I've added Hyaluronic Acid on its own to my skincare routine, I really have noticed a difference in my skin looking plumper, uh, a little more dewy and feeling Feeling hydrated. The last few winters I run into problems where my skin will get dry come around January because I live in Canada and it gets really dry and cold here in January and February. This has really helped my skin to preserve its hydration. So I really, really love this. In the U.S. you can buy the PCA skincare products at Nordstrom and in Canada we can buy them from a Medi Spa, from a website called beautysense.ca, and also on Amazon. I also used up a Thayer's Witch Hazel for years. I have used this as my toner. If you're looking for a toner that's a little more budget friendly, I do recommend the Thayer's. I have tried all of the, the formulas. The favorite one that I like is the Rose Petal. It is alcohol free and it does a great job of making my skin feel fresh although I don't get that feeling of being moisturized at the same time. But it is a nice uh, budget-friendly toner if you're looking for one. I really have enjoyed these Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Patches. I like to use these whenever I'm soaking in the tub. I'll use them maybe once every two weeks whenever I think of them. Whenever I'm in the tub, I like to use a sheet mask or these eye patches. When I do use these, my under eye area does feel nice and hydrated right after. And they're just kind of a fun thing to do when you're relaxing in the bathtub. I have two face sheet masks. The first one is by Snow Fox. It's a Japanese cherry blossom with white tea smoothie mask. Lovely, lovely mask. And I actually just used this one last night. It's by Sephora and it is their lychee face mask. This was very, very hydrating. This just added a nice hydration to my skin. And it's, like I said, it's fun to do a sheet mask while you're in the tub. I always stock up on these during the Sephora sale in the spring or the fall. I like to just take one of the cottons and then I'll just like split it in half. They easily pull apart. And then I use one in the morning, one at night. And I feel that they are strong enough for me to be able to use my toner with that. Because I just find if I use the cotton like as is, as it comes out of the package, I use a little bit more of my toner. So I'm just trying to like save, be a little more economical uh, and use less toner. I have another Wonder Beauty eye patch. Oh, this was kind of a fail and I'm so disappointed because I have wanted to try this company's products for a long time and I've used two or three of their products now and both have been fails. They just don't work for me. And it's by Kiehl's and it is their lip balm number one. I just didn't like it. I didn't find that it did anything to my lips. I always use a lip balm at bedtime. And to me, this did nothing. So that was a fail for me, sadly. I used up a travel size of the Dove Dry Deodorant. I love this deodorant. This is a perfect size for travel. So I'm just trying to use up stuff that I have. It uh, doesn't leave any white cast and it really is dry immediately after you use it. I can just put my shirt on right afterwards and there's no problem with any staining or 
marks on my sweater, and they're available in several scents. I really enjoy the Josie Moran Whipped Argon Oil Body Butter. I like the uh, citrus scent. This is a little pricey, so I buy it whenever it's on sale at Sephora. I'm currently using the retinol version, and I'm going to tell you right now, I don't really see much of a difference, and I actually prefer just the regular whip body butter. This is such a nice luxurious splurge. After a nice hot bath or hot shower, just to put a little bit of this on and my skin just feels really, really soft. Another kind of a fail is this PCA Skin Rejuvenating Serum. I decided to swap out and try this instead of the Total Strength Serum. I didn't like it. I, I have since went back to the Total Strength Serum. I don't know, it just didn't wow me. And if a product doesn't wow me, I'm not going to try it. It uh, doesn't mean that, you know, you may not like this. It's just it wasn't for me. But I do love PCA Skin and I'm totally in love with the Total Strength Serum. I have went through bottles and bottles of that stuff. I actually made it through a Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It took me a year to get through this. So yeah, it's a little pricey when you first buy it, but it lasts a whole year and I use it every night at bedtime and it really does leave my lips moist throughout the night, but also when I wake up in the morning, they're not greasy and they don't feel dry, especially now that the furnace is on. So I've since stocked up and have another one of these in my arsenal. I am so sad when I finish a bottle of perfume and you know I love my perfume and I love the Dior perfumes. This was the Blooming Bouquet one. My favorite still, I think, is Joy, but then it was this one, and then it's the Miss Your Original. It's a little bit stronger. This is a really nice, fresh, lovely scent. It's perfect for summer, and I probably will restock it, maybe ask for it um, for Mother's Day next year but it is, uh, it's a really nice perfume. So I used up one of these Tinkle face razors. These are great because they're just so quick. You know, if you just wanna quickly shave your face or just get rid of any peach fuzz, it also does a good job with a gentle exfoliation. Now, if I want a thorough job, I will still use the Derm Flash dermaplaning device that I have because it really takes away the peach fuzz and really can take off um, a layer of any dead skin that's just laying around on top of my face. But these work great as well, so they're an economical option to the Derm Flash. I used up my favorite eyebrow pencil. It's the Cosmetics Universal Brow, and I wear it in Universal Taupe. I love this eyebrow pencil because it works on pressure. And if you want darker brows, you just press harder. And it's great because it's waterproof, it's smudge proof, and it really does last all day. I don't wear makeup every day, but I do put on my eyebrows and lip gloss. Love that pencil. One of my holy grail mascaras is the Cosmetics Superhero. I really do like this one. I'm wearing it today, but I'm throwing it out because it smells a little funky. The Superhero mascara does tend to get a little thick and clumpy after it's been open for a while, but it really is a nice mascara because it does a great job of separating my eyelashes, but also making them look more vol voluminous. <laughs> And I'm wearing this lip color today by Marc Jacobs, but sadly I'm going to throw it out because it smells really bad. <laughs> I had just forgot about it and sadly I'm going to have to ditch it because it's not looking so good or smelling so good. But it's such a pretty color. I don't know, did Marc Jacobs go out of business? Because I thought I had seen a lot of them on clearance on the Sephora website. But if I can find it, I will link it below because I really did enjoy the Marc Jacobs lip glosses that I had tried in the past. And I used up a Volu Spa candle. I have to tell you, I bought these during the Nordstrom sale because they were pricey, but they had a three pack and they're really, really lovely. First of all, the container is gorgeous and the smell is very concentrated. This one was Gardenia. Really, really like this smell. There was another one in the three pack that it's just like, I can't stand the smell. So that candle's uh, going to somebody else. I would recommend these candles because they do burn for quite a while and they really do fill the house with a nice uh, scent. So that was a peek at my trash that I've been saving up for the last couple of months. I really hope that you will subscribe to my channel for more easy everyday makeup, skincare, and fashion videos for the woman over 50. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and I'll see you soon. Bye.